If you have one of the coins in this video, you could have a coin worth a lot of money and you don't even know it. The last thing you want to do is come across a coin like this and accidentally sell it for too little amount of money. Now the reality is a lot of people that have mercury dimes, these dimes are typically not worth these crazy amount of money, but in the off chance you have a coin that's in really good condition and it's one of these dates, you want to make sure that you sell your coins for the right amount of money and you don't get scammed and ripped off. But let's jump into this video. So up first, we have a 1923 S10 cent Mercury Dime. Now this one was graded by PCGS a mid state 66 with the full bands on the back and a CAC sticker. Quite a mouthful there, but let's go ahead and flip the coin over because that's where a lot of what we need to look out for is going to be shown. So the first thing you'll notice is that this coin has toning on it. And by toning, I mean the rainbow-like appearance to the coin. That happens when the air will oxidize with the metal in the coin, giving it this sort of look. Toning can happen to all different types of coins and look differently for all of them, but that is something that some collectors go after and look for when collecting coins. Also, this has an S mint mark at the back bottom center left area. That S mint mark stands for the San Francisco mint where this coin was minted. Also, if you look in the center of the coin, you will see those two horizontal bands at three different locations at the center of the coin there. Those bands are the highest point on the coin and they get worn down the quickest. So if your coin has those, that's definitely a good sign. And also this has a CAC sticker. Now the CAC sticker is another third party company that after you get your coin graded, if it's a already rare coin in a high grade, this is when it's worth getting your coin sent off to CAC because that one little CAC sticker alone will dramatically increase the value of the coin. When you send your coin off to CAC, they don't always give that sticker only if the coin looks really nice for the grade, but all of these things combined allowed this coin to sell for $32,200. Here's a 1925 10 cent Mercury Dime. This one graded by PCGS, a mint state 68 with the full bands on the back. Again, if you flip the coin over, you'll see the full bands and also what looks like a little bit of dirt, but I tricked you there. That is actually toning. Toning can sometimes look like dirt, so it can be challenging to tell the difference there. But honestly, what made this coin sell for $45,600 is the date. This is a very old coin and it's so challenging to get this coin and this high of a grade of it in mint state 68. So this is a cool coin. This is a 1942 over one 10 cent mercury dime graded by PCGS in mint state 66. Again, with the full bands on the back. So you can tell this coin isn't as good of condition as the previous coins. You can see some small nicks and gashes, but the main reason why this coin sold for almost $70,000, that's right, $60,950 is because it has a mint air. If you can see down at the date there, you can see what looks like 19412. This is a mint air. It should not have the one and the two there at the back of the coin. So if you have a 1942 over one, just like this coin, you could have a coin with a lot of money, especially if it grades really highly because this coin sold for $60,950. Here we have a 1919D 10 cent mercury dime graded by PCGS in mint state 66. If you flip the coin over and look in the back bottom center area of the coin, you will see the D mint mark there standing for the Denver mint. This coin just has a phenomenal look to it. All of the areas are very clear and concise and this coin just simply does not come in this high of a grade and that's why this coin sold for $69,000. So wow, look at the toning on this coin. There are some people out there that will try to do toning on a coin themselves. They will get chemicals and a lot of the time that sort of toning is very obvious and is not something that collectors like but this is a natural toning and you know it's natural because PC just certified it at a mint state 6 66 plus grade with a CAC sticker. Now this is a 1916D. It's important to know that 1916 is a pretty tough date for the Mercury Dime, especially in these high grades. Also this has a CAC sticker, so just to add on top of everything that's going for it, you add that extra layer of rarity with that CAC sticker. So because this coin has the monster toning to it, it was graded by PCGS a mint state 66. It has the plus designation after the grade there. That plus designation will increase the value of the coin and also it has a CAC sticker. All these things combined allowed this coin to sell for $88,125. Here we have a 1916 10 cent mercury dime graded by PCGS, a proof 64 with a CAC sticker. Now, proof coins typically have S mint mark somewhere on the coin there, but this one was actually struck at the Philadelphia mint. You can tell because there's no mint 
mark on the coin. Proof coins typically look more shiny and lustrous. Again, some people will say this looks like dirt, but this is actually toning what you see on the coin. And this coin sold for so much money mainly because it's a proof coin that graded so highly and it has that CAC sticker. So if you have a 1916 coin and it looks just like this one, you could have a coin that's worth a lot of money. This coin sold for $192,000. Hit that subscribe button, really just help out with the YouTube algorithm. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next video.